What made you decide to start this venture rather than taking a secure job that still met your, your purpose goals? I didn't anticipate that I would be starting my own company right after school. Um, and Tesla seemed like it had a great mission. I really enjoyed working there. Uh, but what I, as I started thinking about the idea for Joro, part of, part of what forced me to work on it was that I felt this was a type of product that didn't exist in the world right now. It was a category of product, tools to help people manage their carbon impact. We have those tools for our health, we have them for our fitness, um, we have them for how we manage our money. So many things that are really important issues and we're starting to build the tools to fill those gaps. But I see this huge open space and a need for tools to help individuals like us better manage our climate impacts. Um, and it felt like there's so many smart people working at Tesla right now. If I don't work there, the cars will still be made and the batteries will still be made. But if I don't work on Joro, this, this product doesn't yet exist. And I personally felt a, a significant need for this product in my own life. I was having trouble making these sustainability trade-offs and I knew other people who were having trouble making these, these decisions too. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt like if, if I don't do this, then maybe this won't exist in the way I, I think it should in the world. Joro is a mobile app that helps people take action on climate change, starting with their own carbon footprints. So we make it easy, fun, accessible, for people to make sustainable choices that add up to big change when we make them together. We're using your credit card statement as a first data input to estimate your carbon footprint. So we can do that on an automated basis without a ton of manual input from a user. So your theory is that if a lot of people use this, you could actually change, make some dent in the pattern of, of global warming? Yes, exactly. When Consumers change the way that they demand goods and services, mm. companies and systems change. Um, so for instance, Americans are eating 19% less meat over the last five years than we did previously. And we're seeing that with a huge change in the amount of non-meat plant-based offerings. Um, and so Joro is a tool to accelerate that demand and, and mm. to surface it. If you reduce, for example, meat consumption, how much of an impact does it have on global warming? Consumer demand is responsible for 60% of greenhouse gas emissions in the world. And if each person can improve our footprint by just 12%, um, so that's a relatively achievable change for almost anyone, regardless of their starting point, we can meet the Paris climate goals and keep global greenhouse gas emissions at the levels to maintain global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius. So it's a significant lever for, for change.